Oh, but at least we can make these. So let's make one of them. And one of them. And one of them. Okay. <laughs> and we could make a... Oh, 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 that'll do. Right, okay. <sighs> yes, okay. This is possibly doable. Tool station. Now, I'm thinking, well, we've got two choices here. We need a pickaxe, so we can mine stone. But I'm thinking let's make a mattock instead, because that's a better weapon. And I think to get out of here, it's also going to make it easier for us to cut down trees. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a mattock. It's not going to be an auto mattock, but it's just going to be an ordinary mattock. F plus four attack damage. There we go. We now have a weapon. And when we get out of here in the morning, uh, hoping we will find out when the morning is. By Well, that guy will start catching fire in the morning. We shall be able to get out of here and hopefully have enough energy to go and find some food quickly because we're out if not can we eat the rice seed we can't eat the rice seed but you can eat rice seeds they're called rice <laughs> can't eat the coca beans can't make anything else out to eat out of this lot so this may be our next death but if it is we are running straight back here to pick this stuff up <laughs> Laura's playing Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Yes, Laura likes playing Kitty Powers Matchmaker. It's almost very impossible to make her stop, to be honest with you. But, and I'll tell you what, this made me feel really good today. Kitty Powers tweeted that she, um, basically he liked my voice. Yeah, he said, basically he said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I sound like that in 70 years time, which I found hilarious. <laughs> Do you spin the wheel of misfortune? Oh, come on. Give me morning. Okay. Give me morning. We're going to starve to death here, aren't we? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's have a quick look at the map. Okay. We died there. We're not interested in that one. Our spawn point is down about here somewhere. So as soon as we die, we run this way, basically. Okay, and we're just going to come up here and dig in here and get the stuff. And... Oh, dear. I might as well... No, actually, I, 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 I'm half tempted to spend this food digging out this gravel. So we've got a bit more, but if I do, that's that's just a waste. In fact, let's take this stuff out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna die anyway. Now that zombie will kill us. That zombie might notice us soon and just tunnel his way through this earth and kill me. I've got a weapon now, but it's not much help. Um, if morning doesn't come soon, we're gonna starve. So, there's all sorts of problems here. But at least we have a nice mattock. Let's read this book while waiting to die. Welcome to the second edition of Materials and You, a guide to tools and abilities. Within these pages, you will... will you will details on... Uh, this is the second edition. Right. You will details on every known tool, modifier, and material. A detailed breakdown of everything known and a few unknowns lie here. This book is a magic copy. It updates whenever the original has been modified. Check back occasionally for information on new things. So that's how to make a pickaxe. We know that one. Shovel. We know that one. Hatchet. We know that one. Mattock. It works somewhat like an axe and a shovel. It's not a replacement for either, but I like it because it's a decent weapon. Uh, swords, long swords, rapier. Frying pans are nice because they've got big knockback on them. Battle signs are annoying because you can put them down. Uh, chisels are used, used, used later on. And hammers and lumber axes are 
we'll be using for crafting later on. Uh, uh, what else is in here of any interest? Short bow I really want to make. Uh, hey, uh, stone bell, this tool mines faster as it wears down but does less damage. Jagged, this does less damage but wears out but mines slower. Writable, one extra modifier per piece. Interesting. Tasty, sometimes drops food items. Now that is interesting. Oh, it's morning! We're down to our last heart. Oh dear, I don't think we've actually got enough food. We don't think we've actually got enough food left to get out of here. Come on, die. Die, come on. Don't lag on me. Come on. Come on, I need you to, to die so I can eat your rotten flesh. Oh, excellent, right. That'll do us. That'll do us. That, okay. Death. A death creeper. Right, okay, right. Let's get out of here, let's get some food. We've got some tools. We just need to get some food now. Oh no! Okay, right, look at the map. That way. Perhaps we can get some wood on the way up here. In fact, that seems like a good idea. Uh, this is this game is described as difficulty level masochistic. Uh, um, so and it does live down to its name very very much. Uh, I believe there are Endermen. I'm not going to take the effort of clearing the tree because that's going to use up more food than I want to care, care to do at the moment. Oh, 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 an apple. How do I get that? Do I? Yeah. Come on, give me an apple. Oh dear, come on, there we go. All right, apple, excellent, food. Bit of extra, bit of extra saturation there. Wonderful. Okay. Let's just keep our eyes open for food plants, and if we're very, very lucky, a chicken that's all on its own. But we'd have to cook the chicken first, because otherwise it'll poison us. get the stuff we've got to get here before we do it all despawns it would be utterly utterly gutting if all that work went to waste okay let's let's do this This is the last thing I want to see is a death creeper as I come around the corner. Fortunately not. Pick up that rotten flesh. Hopefully we won't have to eat it. You can bet we will. And here is our stuff. Watch it despawn right in front of us. No. It's the matter. Excellent. Few. I think. I think it's a safe thing to say. Few. Okay. Right. Right. We now have a reasonable weapon, and 
I want to head back to the tower here, but I want to go in an arc like this to see if we can find some food because once again we are starving. Just to add to the fun. And this sand is slowing us down. Yeah, we'll have the cotton, thank you. Yeah, I think to be totally honest, we gained about 5% extra digging speed on that. We're just going to have to level the thing up and hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, that's us starving. What have we got food wise? Let's wear those. Not going to help us in the slightest bit, but let's wear them anyway. Um, right, we have zombie flesh. Excellent. Okay, let's sped us up a little bit. Right, we need to find food, and we need to find it desperately. Oh, great! Oh, marvellous! What the hell are you? A gekin. Okay, we need to get all the way up to there to get our stuff. We, <laughs> we have no chance. <laughs> we even start facing the wrong way. Oh dear. Right, a little bit of food here. Okay, and a little bit of food here. <laughs> this game is an insult. Okay, it's it's not a game. It's it's basically the mod makers saying screw you. that food okay so right oh. doesn't reset the saturation when you die that's very kind of them put seaweed there a bit more seaweed Great, cross over at the shortest place to minimize swimming. Oh dear. <laughs> Kiwi, yeah, that's good. Uh, that's a food we haven't eaten before, so that's actually useful. Spice leaf, excellent. I see a future and it contains curry. Hey <laughs> hey. I don't know what that is, but you can guarantee it wants to kill us. So let's move on quickly. Uh, we've got to get that stuff before it despawns. It's as simple as that. We've got to get that stuff. That sounded like a bat, actually. Ah, oh, come on. Nearly there. Let's hope that those things have moved on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. Oh, okay. Okay, right, we have that. Okay, we have that. I think Yes, we've got the stuff back. We still have a serious food crisis, but what we need to do now is, is head back to that base and see if we can get into it and defend it a bit better. Oh, getting jumpy now. <laughs> a bit of that. It's actually giving us experience. It's that's giving us experience. That's interesting. Cool. 
Yeah, let's go down there and die instantly, shall we? Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh good, music. Yeah, sunsetting. That's getting your hole music. So let's get in the hole. And this means we're going to be trapped in here all night again. I wonder, can we block that up? Uh... Can we block that up? with some of our precious gravel. I hope that doesn't get destroyed. Can we block that up with some of our precious wood? Are we already getting things coming up and exploding underneath us? Yes we are, aren't we? <sighs> oh, will you stop doing that lag? Thank you. Okay, let's put a block here. Hope that stops things from coming up from underneath. Let's get up here. Let's fall off the side. Okay. We've made it back, guys. Okay, let's block up here. safe you know we're absolutely no way safe up here okay there's there's things that can just fly through the holes and that but we're marginally marginally better off than we were uh, still in da chronic danger of starving but we're slightly better than we were okay and now and now we can make ourselves some sticks and did I make a stone crafting station? Oh, I should have taken the tool station with me. Never mind. Right. Let's make another one. Like that. Like that. So that makes a stencil. Makes us a tool station. And let's put that. Let's fall to our deaths. Always a useful thing to do. enough to stop things from coming in. Let's put this up on the ceiling here and let's make ourselves a pickaxe. So that, that, and that. This is a pickaxe. Let's eat some of this food. Okay, that's okay. Not eating that recently. Let's eat some of this. So we're not eating that recently. Not eating that recently. I think we can actually get our hunger up a little bit to 
three, excellent, and we'll do the same here. One, two, three. Oh, that looks so much better. It's not going to last us, but it looks so much better. We're going to have to get this stuff planted tonight, but we've got the mattock, which will make farmland for us. We've got these punji sticks, which we can put around places which will stop monsters from attacking us. Well, they'll, they'll die while trying to attack us, which is great. Um, I'm still not feeling secure enough to light this room because I, I, I know that mobs will find their way in here if they do. They will be attracted to it. There you see, something's already shooting at us. Alright, um, but, oh dear, how many times have we died? We have died, stop doing that, we have died, I think it's actually started deleting some of our deaths now, it's just, I don't want to show that one, well, okay, we died about six times, I think, um, But we've made ourselves the basic tools and we've got a little bit of food. No. Oh. Stress. Stress of this game. It's wonderful. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that makes seeds. That doesn't help us. That makes string. Okay. So that will make us four string, which will make us one wool. We're a third away in making a bed, but the beds don't allow you to sweep the night. They just... <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. It's probably closer to 12, isn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> you get fiery zombies and... Creepers that explode into balls of rock that are filled with silver flesh. Ettins, lizard men in the forest, fishmen in the water, bats all over the pig in place. Build yourself a wooden building and a fire mob will come along and destroy it. You can guarantee it. Oh. Oh dearie me. Oh my paws and whiskers. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm. It's quarter past one in the morning. I'm utterly exhausted. <laughs> oh dear. All right, we don't need these. Uh, don't need that for now. I don't need that. I've lost a torch. That's annoying. I've lost a candle. I think that's annoying. Uh, I still have this lantern. I have no idea how to use it. I wonder. I'll have to look into those. I'm wondering if perhaps that will allow us to light up the place without coal exploding around us. Uh, tomorrow you get those punji sticks down, plant some crops, and just do what we can to find food to eat, basically. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, guys. That was utterly terrible but I so enjoyed playing it oh dear that was that was that was an insult more than a game and basically this this game is just out to get you so much fun and we got the wrong ending in uh, everlasting summer I'm just surprised I didn't kill my sims I've just had one of those nights <laughs> anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this and Perhaps we'll play it again in the future somewhere, but until then, thank you and good night.